Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we got some news reports, stimulus check updates, and of course the election news. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and give this video a like. Now first I want to play some clips of President Trump falsely claiming that he won the 2020 election. By the way, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, but just roll the clip. Here it is. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? So folks, that was President Trump claiming that he will win the election and that he has already won the election. Everyone leave a comment down below, do you think President Trump has won the election, or is it Joe Biden? Or is Joe Biden going to be our next president? Tell me in the comments down below. Now as for Joe Biden, here's what he said on election night. I'm here to tell you tonight, we believe we're on track to win this election. We knew because of the unprecedented early vote and the mail-in vote, that it's going to take a while. We're going to have to be patient until we uh, the hard work of tallying the votes is finished and it ain't over till every vote is counted every ballot is counted but we're feeling good we're feeling good about where we are we believe one of the nets has suggested we've already won arizona but we're confident about arizona that's a turnaround we also just called it for minnesota and we're still in the game in Georgia. Now according to USA Today, Biden is poised to win, but it isn't over yet. Biden has already expanded a lead slightly in Nevada, with a nation anxiously watching the Nevada's potentially pivotal six electoral college votes, the overall result remained in limbo Thursday. Former Vice President Joe Biden slightly increased his lead over President Donald Trump in Nevada. That is according to the latest vote totals released by the Nevada Secretary of State on Thursday morning. Biden now has 597,353 votes, Trump's 585,311 votes, a lead of around 12,000 and up. Now Biden's campaign sees votes tightening battleground states. Campaign manager Jennifer Dillon continued to voice confidence in former Vice President Joe Biden winning the election as votes continue to be counted in a handful of battleground states. Bob Bauer, a legal advisor to the campaign, called a variety of President Donald Trump's campaign lawsuits in the states meritless and comic. Now as for the state of Georgia, which is a key battleground state. Roughly a quarter of the remaining ballots were from Democrat-leaning counties, which includes Savannah. One of the election officials in Georgia also acknowledged that there were still outstanding absentee ballots from overseas military personnel and provisional ballots that needed to be accepted or verified by Friday. Now according to USA Today, former Vice President Joe Biden is just six electoral votes to reaching 270 in the presidential race after he was named the winner of Wisconsin and Michigan. The race is now down to Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, and North Carolina. President Trump has 214 electoral votes, and his team has filed lawsuits in Pennsylvania and Georgia to prevent counting the ballots. With votes still being counted, Biden has broken the record for most votes received by a candidate, amassing nearly 72 million. As of Wednesday evening, he was leading Trump by more than 4 million. Whoever the president is going to be must pass another stimulus check and must approve more stimulus. According to CNET.com, the U.S. may see a new stimulus bill before the end of 2020. A day after a tense election, a day after a tense election, with votes continuing to be counted, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Wednesday that Congress should pass another COVID-19 relief package before January. On Wednesday, U.S. surpassed 100,000 cases in a single day, and that is a new record high. I think we need to do it, and I think we need to do it before the end of the year. I think that now that the election's over, there is still a need to pass more stimulus and get this out. That is according to Mitch McConnell during... That is one of the statements that Mitch McConnell said during a news conference. We might be receiving stimulus checks before Thanksgiving. Now in October, Mitch McConnell told the White House not to work out a stimulus deal with Democrats. As of Thursday morning, the Senate appeared to hold on to its Republican majority, with Mitch McConnell likely to retain his role as a majority leader. In the U.S. House of Representatives, 41 seats have been won by the Democratic Party, while only three from the Republican Party. Nancy Pelosi did win her district, but she has yet to be re-elected as Speaker of the House. 
House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy, a Republican in California, said the erosion of the Democratic majority could spell trouble for Pelosi getting enough votes to be re-elected Speaker, and predicted she'll struggle to get her agenda passed. I know the vote on the floor is difficult for Speaker. I know there was a number of people who did not vote for her last time. That is what McCarthy said on Wednesday, alluding to Democratic defectors two years ago. Now Pelosi has struck deals and maneuvered to squash internal challenges to her leadership before. She overcame defectors in the past, including those from moderate Democrats. And whether or not Speaker Pelosi gets re-elected, a stimulus package nonetheless must be approved and must be given out to the American people. If you agree with me, then leave a comment down below. Now the fate of a second stimulus check, extra weekly unemployment benefits for millions of Americans, and aid for testing are unknown as well. Although Mitch McConnell has favored another direct payment in the past, his recent efforts have been to pass narrow legislation. So what could happen between now and the inauguration? Here are some possibles from CNET.com. A White House offer is completed after November 3rd, an agreement is made, and the current House and Senate vote. If President Trump signs into law, stimulus checks and other stimulus checks and other aid would likely be given out in the following weeks. Now, if a White House offer is finalized and fails in the Senate, the House the House could vote on a deal after the election, but the current Senate, which Republican led, could vote it down. So the bill therefore would not become a law. Now we already know that both Democrats and Republicans agree on passing more stimulus checks. However, both parties disagree on the total price tag of the bill. Democrats are pushing for a higher, over $2 trillion mark stimulus package, while Republicans, such as Mitch McConnell, want nothing more than $500 billion to be spent on stimulus checks. With that being said everybody, that is the latest news and stimulus check updates. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, give this video a like, and leave a comment down below saying I want more stimulus checks. With that being said, thank you so much for watching everybody, and until next time, stay safe.